My first thought is sheer, unrelenting terror. Am I really going to climb a frozen waterfall? Am I crazy? You know, maybe there's an icicle up there with my name on it. On the other hand, why not? Live on the edge. It's only 500 feet straight up. My life insurance is paid for. Besides, maybe I'll find something up there. I get up to about nine or 10,000 feet. Yeah, it's just like, uh, I don't know if it's endorphin or what, but I just get on a high that's great. <laughs> Doug Hansen and his buddy Glenn are ice fanatics, pure and simple. Today they're gonna share their addiction with me. Man, my hands are cold, my feet are freezing. Doug, why would anybody wanna go out here and do this sort of thing? Well, we'll find out here in a minute, Jim. I, I think you're going to enjoy this. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Knots tighten in our stomachs as we look up. Vital Vail Falls is one of the most popular ice climbs in the country, but it's no cakewalk. Will we make it? We're going to try. <laughs> We're going to do this, baby, huh? Yeah? I don't believe it. I'm going home. So I feel like it's... How's your body feel? Oh, okay. <laughs> like I've been spending too much time in front of my computer. Well, if I die, I'll die with a smile on my face, huh? It's easy to see why people get killed doing this. Without the right know-how and tools, it's slippery and it's cold. With them, it's like going up a mountain in four-wheel drive with a chainsaw. Well, that's what's like the worst thing that could happen to us up here. Well, far way up here, when you get well off the ground and you break that rope uh, with your ice axe, you cut it accidentally, uh, it leaves you feeling really nice. I guess that's the, one of the worst. But then when you fall and find your ice axe impaled in you, that, that's uh, the second worst. <laughs> well, you know, that's not too serious. The enemy isn't the ice at all. It's legs that turn to spaghetti, an ice axe that suddenly weighs a ton, and an attitude that can change very quickly from exhilaration to desperation. I've got to the point a couple of times where my body, or I don't know if it's my body or my subconscious or what, it tells me to let go and fall. But you just have to hang in and say, whoops, can't do that. And it's kind of like life. Sometimes it stresses you out, but you just got to hang in there and usually you pull it off. And sometimes you don't. I guess I feel like I should angle more towards my left. Is that correct? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm alive. Wow. You know, one thing I like about the ice is it's kind of a delicate art. You, you don't uh, flail at the ice. You find the strong places for one swing and rheumatically move up there. found out, you don't conquer something like this. You come to terms with it. You respect it. Ultimately, it's a journey of self-discovery, especially on the way down. And I climbed up this. Jeez. You guys know I ain't good psychiatrists.